Alright, hello, hello to all my guys, gals, and non-binary pals out there across the electrical ocean. This is Jazzman, back with the game. We've got Elephant Gun playing Full Faction Under Depths. God damn meta abusers. And then uh, we've got my name, Jeff, playing a split between Savage Tundra and Sundered Lands. Gee, I wonder if he's running a Super Champ deck. Uh, wouldn't that be, wouldn't that be something, right? Anyway, the, uh, the Shock Bow is going to leap into the font. I would definitely favor, uh, sorry, favor the Shock Bow in this exchange here versus the Elder. Uh, Shockbow has the advantage of dodging the first uh, attack every few times. And you know that she has better damage, she has Jolt for Dot, and Elder, Elder kind of just has, you know, the Ice Guard to defend himself. No real need for a Domain Arctic to come into play because uh, Shockbow is ranged herself. Elder is going to get the first hit though, that's notable. But then Shockbow can just of course reply with a double hit in kind, and we might even see a dead Elder. Maybe. If, uh, if Elephant Gun is feeling ballsy, you can maybe like, you know, let's see, you can get 13, 12, you can get it to 22 plus the dot, it's 24, oh yeah, the uh, the Ice Guard of course coming in. I th I, for a second I thought that Jeff was, uh, was a little bit out of it and decided not to put that up. But uh, Elder here going to have to retreat out of the font and let Mutated Drake take his place. Mutated Drake, eh? This is, uh, hmm, all right. I, I, can't for the life of me imagine what kind of deck Jeff is playing. He's got he's got Judge, he's got Drake, and he's got Jackai Elder, and now a, uh, a Wolverine. So maybe maybe it's just maybe it's just the runes he really likes more than anything else. Maybe he's just one of those guys that plays runes just because they look fun to him. But to Elven Gun gonna he, he's not having any of that. He only plays the best of the best. Shadow Rake. Chosen, Shockbow, and then the Maddening Echo is, of course, to finish the Elder. And then, oh yeah, what do you know, a sacrifice to kill, or to, sorry, to refund that Shockbow is cool. And he, he's done with her now. He, he used her up, spat her out. Man, typical Underdepth player. Big ol' meanie. But it does leave the uh, the Jeffer, I'm sorry, it leaves the globes for Jeffer to get. Uh, the Chosen moves in and then moves out. I guess he's just, you know being efficient with his AP usage. But, uh, you know, that's two globes for Jeff, and maybe he can uh, regain some of his lost advantage out of that. Shadow Rake definitely a menace to deal with in these types of situations. It's like, because you've got, now you've got, now you've got the, the real beef to deal with. You've got Chosen, Sh uh, Shadow Rake, and then Deep Elf Fanatic, who uh, I haven't actually seen in uh, in a little while. Not uh, not the typical pick, and actually really risky on this map, just because like you can uh, you might like a, a one one misplay could end up manicking into uh, into the lava, potentially even a cliff. Hmm. So Jeff goes for the hive, <coughs> and I guess that hive is just to uh, just gonna there to be in the way. But uh, the punish actually from Judge getting pawned off onto the Shadow Rake. Or sorry, onto the uh, the chosen, and notably that does not trigger punish. So chosen will still have his full AP to work with, and that I mean that could even be another dead uh, another dead champ if Elephant Gun has a second Maddening Echoes. Mm, you can hit the Drake, and Shadow Rake, and uh, and Judge for twelve. It doesn't it doesn't hit the lesser, like it doesn't count the lesser Shadow Rake summon for its damage. But there is a Soul Feed here onto the onto the chosen. It uh, seems a little early, unless he's gonna unless he's gonna do like I don't know a Widowmaker plus a spell. There's no way he has that much Nora, right? Because I mean he he needs four AP for another attack. If he was gonna try and get the kill, I don't know what the point of the Soul Feed was. Like he's not gonna get it with Aura, surely. Surely he doesn't get it with Aura. Oh, there's a Mind Slicer. All right, well. He actually, he actually misses the kill on uh, on Judge uh, due to a, a slight miscalculation there. Let's see, he took eight. He took yeah, Judge took nineteen, so he actually uh, overkilled it by one. That sucks. So uh, I guess even the best, even the best have bad uh, have bad days. But uh, the, the Drake one v one, and uh, oh my God, what a Gale Force! Damn, that was like the juiciest Gale Force ever. Almost killed the summon here. Shadow Rake down to 26 and knocked the Chosen over the lava. Definitely a, a nice Gale Force. And actually, the second attack onto the Rake will probably bounce to the Chosen, I want to say. Yep, there he goes. And actually kills the Chosen, too. So that's a Soul Feed wasted. 
by uh, by elephant gun. Well, I mean, not. I, I guess yeah, it, it's wasted. I, I there's no other way to put it. I guess he was trying to leave the judge with uh, with one, but I guess um, vulnerability psychic had something to do with missing that uh, with missing that kill there. So I don't know, crystal dragon coming in. He should probably move up one more for uh, the freezing aura, but well, I guess he doesn't. I guess he doesn't feel like it. Yeah, he doesn't. He doesn't. He just wants to save that one AP. He's a little. He's a little lazy. Imagine being this kind of this kind of size, and uh, you're you know you're like mountain. You're like a, as big as a mountain, and you're flapping your your flappers as best you can to keep in the air. And you're like, man, today today has just been a bad Monday. I don't really feel like flying that one extra space. You know. Let uh, I'll I'll save that for later. But uh, the Wolverine presenting itself as an easy target here, and the fanatic immediately engages, making a big bloody mess out of it. Just as, uh, just as the Wolverine, actually this is the complete opposite of what's happening in this art right now. The Wolverine making a bloody mess of that Neferi, and then uh, and then the Fanatic making a mess out of it in return, and ooh, juicy Fascinate here from the Crystal Dragon. Again, pulling these guys over the lava. This is kind of a really unlucky uh, matchup for Elephant Gun, playing against ST on Elemental Plateau. I hate it. I, I, I just gotta say, I hate it. I hate when I win on it because it feels cheesy, and I hate when I lose because... It feels like there's nothing you can do against all the knockback, all the relocation, and uh, you know you're in this tight little area. You could do, you could get like um, frigid barriered out of the font, and it, it sucks. There's nothing you can do. So it's scouring Jasper getting deployed onto the lava here to, uh, I guess, help finish off that shadow rake. Uh, mutated Drake uh, shifting abilities all to scour three. Uh, let's him uh, let's him take down that shadow rake, and then of course the fanatic. Down to six. I mean, we could maybe see a retribution here, but it wouldn't be quite enough to kill. It would do like 30, eh, what, 34, 35 damage to that crystal dragon. So, uh, Jeffer is actually in a really good place. Uh, Elven Gun is, um, I guess, delaying uh, his chosen from getting to the font by grabbing that Nora Globe. And then a second Fanatic. So, Elven Gun really going double up on, uh, on all of his guys right here. The other Fanatic goes down, and Jeff can grab a couple juicy globes for his trouble but uh, the Drake the, the Drake decides he doesn't want that globe he's just gonna he's just gonna hover around the font and he's gonna make a nice nice circle there uh, and deploy on the globe instead the Arctic delegate so I get okay so I'm kind of seeing now that this is like SL crystals but uh, I hesitate to say what the synergy on the SL side is when it comes to crystals like they're not elementals they're uh, well I mean yeah the SL champs aren't elementals I guess they add I guess they add some spice, you know, they're, they're, they're the pepper on top of the fried rice, you know? It just adds that little bit of, hmm, makes it just, just right. But uh, Crystal Dragon gonna potentially threaten that top font. And uh, another, yeah, another, yep, he's really going double up on, on everything here. So uh, I guess we could just suss out the rest of his deck by saying, yeah, so double echoes, double boomerang, double, double shadow rake, double, double, double hamburger with, uh, with extra cheese. Pickles, onions, the works. Uh, Crystal Dragon, uh, he's not. He's backing. He's backing off a little bit. He doesn't want to to one v one the Shadow Rake. Understandably, uh, this one actually doesn't have pawns, so he, uh, maybe you could get away with it. But uh, an Acid Elemental. Okay, so there's there's a little bit of Elemental synergy on the SL side. But uh, Acid Elemental with Deflect and uh, mm, all right. I mean, like again, I'm not really sure what that adds to the ST side, but he's doing it. He's he's doing it, and he's actually winning. Uh, I would say more than a little bit because of the uh, because of the map and the circumstances. But Elfin Gun, not one to concede prematurely here. He's going to drop a Grief Bearer, maybe get Drudgery to work for him uh, in some way. Mm, and I guess yeah, he just probably. And he's, he's probably just going to sit for now because you can't really assault that font. He doesn't have uh, the engage potential to do anything there. Not with deflect and divert hanging around. He's got. He's actually got. Yeah, deflect here, divert here. Maybe he's got other stuff like that. Maybe he's running. Maybe he's like running mirrored uh, mirrored shield for his deflect champs. There's a firestorm here from Jeff, so bringing down some love from above. And uh, that chosen, I don't know, that chosen could probably die here this turn. Uh, Cross of grenade. He should he should have done that first for the sunder. And uh, will that actually make a difference? Nope. He's uh, he's is going to get the kill with the chart and the scoured three. 
So there's another dead gem from Elephant Gun. Wow, it's rare to see Elephant Gun uh, lose in this manner. But, you know, it happens, uh, as I said. You can actually contest. I, I honestly feel like he could... Oh, well, he used he used Frost Armor, so maybe he should... Uh, <laughs> he could have contested, but he used Frost Armor instead. I think that was a little premature by Jeff. Uh, maybe if you go in with a Relic, then it, you could have justified it, but... Eh. He, he decided not to. Like, if you're going to use Frost Armor, you're, you might as well just be up in the, up in the Shadow Rake's face, right? But he is blocking Elephant Gun from the font with these guys. And uh, Deep Ball Fanatic, uh, that, that Drake notably is is kind of overextended, especially into the uh, into the Dispel, getting rid of de Deflect, Divert, and all that. So Fanatic and a Manic here for the kill, with the help of Messenger's, uh, help of Messenger's uh, encouragement. And uh, what else is going on? I mean, Elephant Gun has Elephant Gun still has some chances. Like it, the dragon after its uh, after its armor goes down is not uh, it's not the best. Like he's on thirty nine HP. You could Shadow Ray could probably do fine one v two against these guys, just with the help of his clone. So Jeff does still have to play this a little a little more conservatively. Some range would be great. Like if he if he could deploy another Jackai Elder, maybe one with Snow Strike to impede uh, impede these guys. Maybe like I don't know a Jackai Frost Queen, maybe a maybe even like a uh, what is that guy the Skywing Imperator for some AOE abilities. But it looks like Crystal Dragon is making his move. He's going right in. Man, you better not save AP now. Like you gotta you gotta realize that you're you've got an advantage, right? You're up a font, you're up some champs. You gotta you gotta do some damage here. So he is gonna contest with another Jasper. So that's a lot of passive damage here, actually. Elephant Gun has to be wary of the Fascinate. But uh, I wouldn't be surprised to see him just take care of that relic immediately, or he could go for the kill with a second soul feed. Okay, so this one, this one has really got to work out for him. He goes for the Widowmaker. Okay, so he's gonna get it. Uh, he's got 13 and 13. That's uh, 26 plus another 13. Uh, he's oh, he's actually a little short, and I don't, I don't even think that puts him under Widowmaker, does it? Yeah, it does. Okay, so it leaves him at three, but that's still not enough for a soul drinker kill. Mmm. I mean, Essence Capture did get him a bunch of Nora from that, so he's refunded a little bit. And uh, the dragon actually won't die, because uh, this Shadow Rake does not have Scour. Ephraim Messenger going up for... Well, he's out of... He's actually out of drive range, too. Mmm. Elephant Gun looking a little bit sloppy here this game, I gotta say. There's the Drudgery coming down. We're gonna see a spell. Nope. No spells to finish. So the Shadow Rake's being pulled through Fascinate and a double scouring aura onto these guys. So this is, again, this is Jeffrey's chance. Like he's gotta make, uh, he's gonna make some headway here. If he kills the Shadow Rake, caps the font, Messenger will have to use all our AP contesting. Probably another spell to kill the dragon, which will put Elephant Gun behind it again in, in Nora. No, there's actually a, an impairing Sapphire more uh, for the scouring proc to finish off both those guys. And uh, Elven Gun actually surrenders that. All right, nice. So well played to both, and we'll see everyone in the next one.